Hey everyone, I'm Nate. And I'm Abby. This little guy is Popeye. We are the RC Sailors and we have a very unique type of robotic RC thing to show you today. It's very exciting, but I think that Abby is probably more excited about this than I am, although I am quite excited. <laughs> Me and my mother-in-law and my sister-in-law and probably even my sisters and my mom have been interested in robot vacuums for a long time but have never been emotionally ready to spend like $500 to $1,000 on a Roomba. I think maybe the, the older versions might be a little cheaper oh, of the Roombas now. But it's still like $300 and that just hurts so bad to think about spending that much on a vacuum cleaner. Especially one that you're not sure if it's really going to work or not. Right. So I saw these and the price tag, it was on sale when I got it for like $150. I'll have it linked in the description box Amazing. below so you can get the most up to date price. And I just had to pick one up. I couldn't resist $150 for a robot vacuum cleaner. So knowing that and knowing, okay, so they have them for $900 or $150, what's the catch? What's going to be wrong with it? And I've tested this every day down here in our main living space, which is about seven to 800 square feet of space right here for a week. Mm -hmm. And I'm still absolutely in love with it. When I first took it out of the box, I was really concerned about these little, I don't even know the names of them. They're just bristles. The little bristle brushes, because I was like, I don't even know if the Roombas have that. And I still to this day don't know if the Roombas have that. But what they do it's is- It's amazing. This has some collision detection. It doesn't work perfect every time, but this never like slams into your stuff. You don't have to worry about it scraping your stuff or denting it or anything like that. Well, It'll on. just slightly bump it. Let's talk about the collision detection. It has, I think, some sort of sensor. Sometimes when it's running around, it'll stop just an inch or so before it hits something. Other times it doesn't see the thing and at like half a mile an hour, it just barely bumps into it. And sometimes I think it's because it wants to clean really close. Possibly. Uh, it'll just bump into it and then you can see this big bumper, this big cushion around the front pushes in and it knows there's something there, I need to go around it. So the bristles, what's cool about those is that they act as like a little scooping mechanism and on hard floor surfaces, if you test it, you'll even see, like if you put paper all around it, you'll see it like push it in front Pulls of it. Pulls it into the middle. So then also, my baseboards have never been cleaner hmm. because it'll go up against the edge and the one on the side will dig down into the carpet and just and clean all that dust that's in the carpet right beside the baseboard, which is so cool. A big full-size sweeper, even if you bump up against the Can do that. baseboard, you're still leaving like yeah. an inch or so. So you're gonna have to get your hose attachment off and, and do that. And who <clears throat> does that? Who does that? <laughs> Not like real maybe once a year, yeah. maybe. <laughs> the best thing about this is that I've been able to run it every day because of the scheduling. The remote that it comes with is so easy. It's military time, but you can schedule it and this is like clockwork. It's going to start at the, at the exact time and it's going to find its way back home. We have it start at eight o'clock or so every night mm -hmm. and it'll run for about two to two and a half hours. When it gets low, it stops running and it goes orange okay the little light on the top and it starts randomly searching for its home usually it'll just decide hey i'm pretty close to home i'm just i'm fairly low i'm gonna go back but every single night it has always been able to find its charger it's amazing it just is absolutely amazing i cannot believe the technology that's packed into this that's so amazing and the other thing i like about the sweeper itself other than the collision detection and the bristles is the fact that the beater bar underneath is so easily accessible that it just comes right out and then you can scrape the hair out of it or use a brush to pull it out obviously mm -hmm. i need to do that um, but the ease of access with this is just spectacular being able to access it in two seconds is amazing and then it just pops right back in there it's just it's perfect it works really well if you have a dog that sheds or if you have hair like mine that just like comes out in gobs i, d I don't know how i still have hair it's gonna pick it up and it's gonna stick it in here and it's not gonna be on the floor. It's super quiet. It's very quiet going around the house. You know it's running if you're in the same room as it, but if it's behind the couch and you're on the other side of the yes. couch, you almost can't even hear it. There, there was one time it bumped into my foot while I was sitting on the floor playing a video game 
and I thought it was Popeye, I reached down to pet it and it scared me for a second because it was a hard robot. <laughs> so we play video games while it's running, we've watched movies, TV, and mm -hmm. we edit, which requires a lot of focus and the ability to hear, yeah. and we can edit no problem. The amazing thing about this, the really one of the best things is that it truly does it really does a great job at cleaning. I look around and I think, Abby must have cleaned the house today. But it was this doing it. Uh -huh. And we can do other things while it is cleaning. Mm -hmm. Now, is it going to clean as good as a big, expensive Dyson Loud, house? Loud. No. Heavy. <laughs> no, because it doesn't have the crazy suction that you have with mm -hmm. those. It doesn't clean amazingly compared to those. It cleans to the eye on the surface what you see is gonna look clean yeah. it's not deep cleaning your carpet now a lot of issues with a lot of Roombas and other robot vacuum cleaners is that they I hear people all the time complaining that the tray doesn't no, hold I, I don't I don't see how that can be a complaint <clears throat> what having to empty it out all the time well a lot of people complain about it that it fills up multiple times while it's running yeah the only time I ever had to do that was the first time I ran it. Yeah. And that was only once. After that, I, I run this two, three times, and then I empty it, and that's just because I'm like, ah, I'll just go ahead and empty it today. Yeah, I was going <laughs> to say probably once every two days, if you're running it every day. I ran it every day, and every two to three days, I was emptying it. But I think it's cool that it is filling up, because what's that mean? If the compartment's filling up. That means it's, it's not dirt on your floor and it's working. And this also has other features that has spot cleaning and edging cleaner. So it mm -hmm. will just go right up against the edges of your house and really deep Which clean is that. Cool. Here's my advice to all the guys watching. Hopefully you're still watching because this is pretty awesome technology. You guys that are buying drones, quadcopters, RC trucks, boats, and planes and stuff all the time. You owe her. <laughs> you owe her something. This guy comes in at like 150, 160 bucks. You absolutely have to take our advice right now right now buy her this she will thank you later and you'll think it's cool too i love when it's running because i feel like robots are controlling our house it's awesome so the other complaint that i read about robot vacuum cleaners is that they don't have the the cheaper ones don't have like a set pattern they kind of just <clears throat> go everywhere but if you watch it it's still cleaning every little inch that it can get to multiple times. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't have a set pattern like you would if you were doing a, a regular vacuum. So you're gonna get kind of swerves and stuff in your carpet. <laughs> so some people with thick carpet aren't gonna like that it's not leaving those smooth lines because you can see it. It's gonna look, you can see the curves and the different patterns in your carpet. Uh, we don't have that random. issue. Kind of saw it when I ran it upstairs, but it didn't bother me. Now, speaking of upstairs, I hate lugging my vacuum up and down stairs. This is not difficult at all. I do not take my charger upstairs when I take it upstairs. I just let it go. Um, and then when I, when I wake up in the morning, because I sleep when this is running, <laughs> I'll just go look for it. And speaking of upstairs, this has not only the collision detection, but it can detect where it does not fall mm. down our stairs. That's nice. Yeah, I've left it unattended and it's never fallen down the stairs. Oh, another thing. You guys know how Popeye gets excited and chases the drones and the trucks. The very first day he was a little interested in this, but now he doesn't even care that it's running. Sometimes he'll follow it around and watch it, but he doesn't bark at it or anything. Yeah, he's he's pretty tame. It's not loud, so I don't think I think that's why it doesn't bother him. Yeah. Um, also, back to the stairs thing. That's probably the one of the only other complaints I can have is that it doesn't do my stairs. It runs for about two and a half hours if you want it to run that long. And it'll take a few hours, uh, something like four hours probably to charge. Right. And um, it seems powerful to me. Those wheels on the bottom are cool. We didn't even mention that it'll do hardwood as well. Yep. Uh, we, we've let it run in the kitchen, like linoleum and hardwood in the bathrooms. It'll do some rugs, but really thick rugs. It kind of gets yeah. bunched up on them. It recommends to make sure all your cords are put away. Yeah, and that's true. That is a definite thing you need to do because yeah. it won't chew up your cord, but what's going to happen, because it happened to me twice already, 
is um, it's going to get caught in the wheel and then this will just shut down because it, it'll get stuck. It'll realize it can't move and it'll shut down. Yeah. But your cord's going to get all stuck. Now all you have to do is push it in and your cord's going to come right out. And the very last issue, if you want to call it that, that I had with this is that it doesn't fit under all my furniture. Yeah. Um, it fits under yeah. my Ashley furniture that has about, you know, pretty good clearance above it. But this couch that we're sitting on and I have one other one upstairs that is just slightly under it. It wants to go under it in certain spots. But here's- It's really weird. <laughs> the flip side of this, the flip side, she said it's a negative that it can't go under some furniture. I say that's a positive that it can go under your bed, under yeah. the tables, under some of the couches and chairs that we have, because now you don't have to move furniture around to clean under yeah. it. So, We've probably bored you guys that are real RC fanatics to tears. This is just too good of a deal to pass up. We saw it. It's, it's somewhat RC related. You know, it charges. It has the remote. Robotic. It's robotic. It's just, it's just really awesome. My floor looks impeccable every day. Uh, and again, seriously. And I hate cleaning. <laughs> all of you guys, everyone that watches this channel, if you don't like cleaning, let's say you're a dude that lives alone and you just love RC stuff, just seriously, take my advice, take her advice, get one of these. They're so cheap. It. Compared to the RC stuff that we are all buying all the time, all of us watching, this is amazing. And just so you know, I'm honestly considering picking up a second robot vacuum cleaner just so I can have two amazing scheduling monsters. at the same time so both my floors are simultaneously getting cleaned at one time. It's that good. Mind blown. It's so cool. I love, I love having clean floors. I didn't think Popeye likes to shred toys every day on a daily basis. So there's always like little strings, buzz and foam and who knows what comes out of those toys and this picks it up. Absolutely um, awesome. I think the technology is amazing. The functionality is awesome. I don't see any downside to having one of these. It's so cool. We'll have this one linked for you in the description box below. We hope we've been somewhat helpful, helpful to you guys if you've been at all interested in robot vacuum cleaners. This is the so one let us have. know what you think of covering this type of electronic device because we really enjoy testing something out and bringing our opinions to you. So thank you guys so much for watching and hopefully we'll bring you an RC quadcopter truck or something tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> See you guys.